Hello, hello. My name is Rosa Maria Cisneros Kostic and I am collaborating with the Independent Theatre Hungary. I am really um, honored to sit down with Rodrigo Balach and Martin Ies um, from the Independent Theatre Hungary. They are the directors, the brains behind the the theatre company and it's just really lovely to sit down and speak with you today about um, Village Day. Thank you both for, for joining me. As um, we've done in previous uh, conversations, Martin, you will be helping with translation, but also feeding into the conversation. And Rodrigo, you will uh, be talking to us um, from your perspective um, as director, but also as part of, of being very close to the work. Hello, hello. So can you introduce yourselves, please? Üdvözlöm a program nézőit. Én Balog Rodrigo vagyok a Fidesz Lászlóan Magyarország Régyetekben. I'm greeting the audience forum, and I'm Rodrigo Balog, the artistic director of Independent Theatre Hungary. And I'm Martin Ilyes, the, the operative leader of Independent Theatre Hungary, and uh, uh, Rodrigo wrote and directed the uh, play uh, and performance Village Day, and I have the, the work as a dramaturg. As a dramaturg, yes. Um, so you two have a very um, close relationship in collaborating for many years. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the kind of idea for this work and where that came from? Our theater is uh, fundamentally an experimental theater. So we many times uh, uh, do some kind of works we've never done before. Then But as we are usually very enthusiastic and interested in some new topic, uh, we are ensured that it will work out well, either if we don't have experience on the given field yet. Az informális pénzkölcsönzéssel, amiről a falunak előadás is szól, egy kutatáson keresztül változtunk. So we, we met with the informal money lending, which is also the topic of the performance village day, through uh, uh, research. És a Gócsovit érdekes kultúra kutatásával alakul, aki maga egy kultúrantropológus. So we know a cultural anthropologist, uh, Judith Durst, who, have been, who has been uh, researching this topic for a decade long. So the urgery is, uh, is a quiet, relevant phenomena in uh, small villages in Hungary. And she shared the uh, uh, findings of, of her research on this topic. And based on, on these findings and uh, some of the main stories, we uh, created a, a play in two years. So it was a longer period than uh, when figuring out the stories when creating the play, which uh, lasted from 2017 till 19. And then the theater rehearsal itself uh, was a, a simpler uh, issue. And we finally uh, performed the uh, uh, performance in 2010. And there's something quite, um, I think in general, um, this applies to the way you guys work, where you spend 
some time researching and developing the topics or the themes or the characters. Um, but particularly with this work, it feels like you respected the, the space and the time for the work to come to life. Um, was it difficult to create some of the characters in the in the in the piece, the writing of it, the 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 story, the things that go through? A, a legfontosabb az az volt, hogy hogy nagyon következetesen felépítsük a a főszereplőknek a tudásosan a megjelenben. So, which was the most important for us to create the character of the protagonist, who is a, a woman who is doing surgery in the in the community, and to to make her character genuine and credible. Uh, we worked on on her character four of our colleagues. And when we fixed the main character, we created the other characters in relation to, to her. So just an example, it was very important to figure out what is she really dealing with, so Mara the protagonist. Legfontosabb az az volt, hogy, hogy, hogy kijelentettük, hogy nem csak pénzt köszönjük és elfogadjuk. So, for example, we uh, decided that she doesn't work only with money lending, hanem gondoskodik arról, hogy tényleg legyen bizonyi, but also um, make sure that people have a fire wood for the winter, hogy legyen élelmiszer a családoknál, food in the family, és a beteg a gyerek, akkor legyen bukcián. If the children are sick, then they can get the medicine. But get our tobacco to hang your patients for what? Also sell tobacco. I just do all of them. The only thing she doesn't work with is alcohol. They should ask if Esther needs to meet with some of the clients. She put it in the middle. And then we had a look at her clients. That who are the ones who uh, go and get uh, informal money. Marán kívül a többi karakter megrajzolásra viszonylag egyszerű volt, én nem is valósítani. The creation of the other characters was quite simple. I also come from a, a village community, és nagyon számítos kodatában a So I met a very diverse uh, choreography that what which kind of people exist in village communities and how they interact with each other and cooperate or not yes and there's um one of the things that i found quite interesting about the work is that um the character the central character is quite complex as you said um and you offer perspective from or we can see the different perspectives of why she might be or not be doing something and there's also um like a no judgment you know the way it's presented there's no judgment on the she's you know doing something you know you, i really get a sense of survival that this character and the different people are trying to survive and so can you talk, I'm assuming that was perhaps intentional, um, but maybe is there something you can talk to about that? This idea of survival, of many perspectives um, and removing judgments. Uh, thank you for your question and this topic because it was also very important for us. So it was our intention to show uh, a good patron. 
ma Magyarországon is a fogyasztói korai érvényét az egy a, 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 a népek kiszipolyózójaként tekintjük rájuk. So it's important because also in Hungary and probably also in other parts of the world, when it's about grocery and it's about informal money lending, we only think on these people as criminals who ruin the lives of, uh, of other people. I guess I'm about keep back to the I'm going to crash of course. So there are quite wide stereotypes about uh, people doing grocery. Ugyanakkor azt is ki kell jelenteni, hogy a hazai pénzkölcsönző rendszerek, a bankok, ők teljesen lemondtak a, a mélyszegénységben élőkről. And we should also uh, declare that uh, the formal money lenders, the banks, usually uh, don't give any other opportunities for the people living in deep poverty, so they can only go to the usury. Van Magyarországon egy ilyen mondás, mert a világ más tájai is használják, hogy ahhoz, hogy Magyarországon hitelt adni bankról, először meg kell hívni, és hogy nincs szükségre a hitelre. So we have a saying in Hungary, maybe it's also in other parts of the world, that uh, if you want to, uh, to get a credit from the bank, then first of all you should prove that you don't need the credit. That a bankok rengeteg emberről mondtak le, és és ki az, aki marad? Ki az, aki marad? A helyi uzsorás, aki gondoskodik arról, hogy amikor temetés van, akkor elfogtemetés szerette, de ki gondoskodik arról, hogy amikor a gyereket ballad az iskolába, akkor legyen mulatsága pénz, és, és ott van a keresztelőnél, és mindenki. So, as the, as the banks don't give any opportunities for these people, then only the uh, Usually uh, can ensure that that they can uh, do their funerals, their uh, family uh, celebrations. If anything is, has a problem, uh, a financial crisis, then only these people can help. A mi szereplőnk tevékenysége az az So what uh, informal money lending is uh, illegal in Hungary? But the community of this play doesn't have any problem with this woman for uh, 10 years because she ensures the existential security for the people and uh, lending money for them. The problems only start when the former uh, uh, usually is uh, came up from the prison, who was there before and who made the business for this woman. Aki már nem volt jó tartalmas, hanem egy biztosítás volt, aki minden lehetséges módon biztosítás volt. And this guy who comes out from the uh, prison uh, was not like a good one, but uh, also a very uh, violent one who uh, got back uh, his money in with any kind of tool. So we draw the picture of uh, quite conscious and uh, women women who also takes responsibility for uh, her community. And here comes the turn of the play amiben már beleszőttük a, a hazai, uh, egy, egyfajta hazai társadalom kritikát is. And in here we also show a kind of social critic of uh, today's Hungarian society. <coughs> És ez egy paradoxon tulajdonképpen. And this is also a paradox, uh, ami arról szól, hogy, uh, hogy az elnyomott közösségek uh, akkor is támogatják az elnyomóikat, hogyha azok érdekeik kell ellenzőtes. Uh, 
that the uh, community members who are under the pressure of any authority, they still support the power of this authority, even if uh, functioning of this authority is against their interest. We shouldn't go very far away. We should just think on uh, Viktor Orban, or Prime Minister. He caused a lot of harms for very diverse parts of society. And despite this fact, he's in the, in the parliament again for the third time with uh, two thirds uh, of the parliament. And it's the same in small uh, villages and communities. So if you have a big pressure on you from your authorities, but you have the feeling that, okay, at least I have some existential security or there is some net uh, under myself, then I don't uh, want to move my uh, authorities or leaders. So beside the character of Mara, the protagonist, it was also very important to show the characters of her clients. So financial culture of people in general in Hungary is very low. So they can plan their money and carry it in the month and so on. And that's also a reason why informal money lending can, uh, can uh, function so well. So people many times ask for uh, credit and they don't even think on the future when they have to pay back. That igazából Mara reagál egy keresetre, akkor amikor uzsorás lesz. So actually the protagonist uh, only uh, reflects on the demand of the society when she starts to do this business. Nem akar ki uzsorás lenni. Egyszerűen csak volt pénze és kölcsönöket. She didn't want to be a uh, but uh, she was asked once by her uh, friend, lady friend, to, to give some credit, and that's how this whole uh, um, story starts. And is there something that you remember um, maybe from audience feedback or anyone who was part of the research and development phase um, that saw the work. Was there any uh, memories or feedback from anyone from those spaces that you can recall that stands out? Because it's a, it's a very sensitive topic, this. And as you said, you know, even the character in the story didn't realize and maybe reflect on credit or society in that way. So I wonder if, if people watching the work maybe had similar reactions or anything that you remember or that you heard from feedback. Érdemes megkülönböztetni a nézőknek azt a részét, akik is valóban jöttek, és pontosan tisztában vannak az, hogy mi maga. So it's very important to see the differences between the audience members who come from small villages and who actually know all the details of this phenomena.
and it's also very different if somebody comes from the um, uh, academic sector and might have just met this phenomena in an article for the second part of the audience it was very shocking the performance and the story so for the audience members coming from small villages, uh, it wasn't such a big surprise how it works, but uh, it was also important for them to face the challenge of lacking financial culture and planning and things like that. So there were quite diverse reactions. Ami, ami sokkal érdekesebb talán, hogy az előadás közben és az előadás végén is mi, mi meghívjuk a mozgókat egy vacsorára. What is maybe more interesting that at the end of the performance uh, we invite the audience for a dinner. És ugye a vacsora közben hát ugye közel elvedül a témáról beszélni. And during the, uh, during the dinner it's also a chance to speak about this topics és ilyenkor uh, ilyenkor uh, nagyon uh, nagyon érdekes uh, visszajelzéseket uh, szoktunk uh, kapni például uh, van egy polgármester az előadásban aki aki egyáltalán nem pozitív és egyáltalán nem az a tűnik hogy itt a közösséget elképzelhetetlen so this time we uh, we got a lot of interesting feedbacks like for example there is a, a mayor in the in the play who doesn't really work in order to develop the, the village most of the uh, uh, town middle class audience think that this mayor is a positive character because then Meanwhile, we are showing a racist and corrupt mayor. <laughs> and uh, the people coming from the uh, town or capital and middle class, they don't want to see that, hey, this guy is racist and corrupt. <laughs> Once after performance, we made a play with the, with the audience and uh, uh, we gave them small pieces of paper and pen and asked them how they want to contribute to the development of the village. And many of people said that uh, they would support the mayor and uh, they would really like the mayor and so on. Meanwhile, this, uh, this character of the mayor uh, has also similarities to our prime minister. And this is the real paradox on which I've been speaking about that uh, even if it's despite our own interests, we support our uh, our leaders who uh, who give pressure on us. And I think that's a really um lovely way that you reflect on society. Um, you offer a moment to maybe stop and think, what are we doing? How are we um, thinking about people in positions of power, whether it's the mayor or the main character, the protagonist? Um, and so it's, it's, you know, when, when I think about the work, I feel like I'm a bird looking at this village from the top and seeing these various people, these various um, ways of kind of thinking, 
being uh it's like a web this matrix um and while when i look at one person maybe it doesn't make sense but together it it's a village it makes sense to me and it works or it doesn't work but somehow it's you know there's something that moves it along um so can you tell me a little bit about the title of how you decided on village day and and um yeah a little bit about where that came from Uh, so it's a quite uh, usual practice in Hungary that once in a year in every village there is a village day when everybody can eat and drink a lot and it's uh, financed by the mayor or by the state or something like that. And this story is played on this day when there is a celebration in this village. But then this uh, celebration turns and it's not so sweet anymore. Thank you for mentioning it earlier that uh, you had the feeling that as a bird you were looking uh, from above on the village. I think that the uh, uh, stage design has a very important uh, element. So if you show a village in a in a, a traditional stage in the theater, then it can be so much credible and not so realistic. And that's why we choose the uh, central park and hill in the middle of Budapest uh, for for the uh, scene of the performance. So on this hill, we were able to to show the structure and the functioning of the uh, village. And also for this reason, the uh, the genre of this performance is the uh, walking or hiking performance or gastro walking performance. Yeah, it's another lot of what look. Of which Adonar, I mean, maybe it's like Adonar's performance. Iba jelent a dolog, hogy ők is látnak, hogy azok jöttek a faluba, mint a faluba volt szépen. And the audience members are uh, treated as uh, tourists or visitors who came to the, this village day, and it was declared by the first at the first moment of the of the performance. Tehát ugye a ugye a turisták azok megkóstolnak ebben egy spektakulárisan. And on tourists on village days, usually tourists can uh, taste the local uh, typical foods or anything like that. És, és igazából nagyon nagyon fontos volt hogy azért az azért, ahogy nem is fogalmazta, hogy ahogy hogy ez egy virtu napi téma. Tehát hogy, hogy senki nem beszél arról, hogy mennyi minden ez látványába és egyáltalán. And this is uh, quite much as you mentioned also uh, taboo topic that nobody speaks about how much money you have in your wallet. That nagyon nagyon fontos volt a műfaj megközelítése is legalább a nyitva tartalni, hogy oké, okay, de hogy nyomod le ezt az előadást, hogy nyomod le az emberek hozzám is ezt a kultát. So besides the content, it was also important how to find a, a form uh, in which the people can accept this topic and can uh, 
not run away from me. Okay. Magyar népélek viszonylag egyszerű. A Hungarian spirit is quite simple. Etes meg is fogja a száját. If you greet people, they will be uh, shut up. Uh, mi, mi is ezt csináljuk, igazából uh, adunk egy finom limonádét, megkóstoltatjuk vele a meg sajtokat. We also give them uh, experiences like this, also giving them nice lemonade and uh, taste uh, lots of cheese. Aztán megmutatunk számára egy jelenetet, amit be akarsak a torkán. And afterwards we show uh, a scene when it shocks this person and can't even uh, uh, swallow the, the cheese which just has been eaten. Majd néhány percet sétáltatjuk, hogy beszéljük a sajt a torkot. És gondolkodjunk. And then we ensure uh, some minutes of walk next to the uh, towards the next scene. Meanwhile, uh, can uh, eat the cheese and think about the former. Nagyon pontosan ki van számítva a sétá aránya, a, az interakciók, a jelenetek uh, ideje. Tehát, hogy, hogy azért ezek, ezek, ezek az eddig épatik, amire meg kell lehetetni, és nagyon fontos volt, hogy, hogy, az, hogy, az, hogy az egész megegyezik. So it was calculated and measured uh, quite much how much walking, how much interaction with the audience, how much uh, um, scenes only between the actors and so on. And just back to the bird you mentioned, who is watching from a bow, or you in a key egy kígyót látod, amelyik elindul a hegy tetejére, és, és három nagyot tekerünk. De mindig a saját What I see is a snake, which goes up on the, on the hill, and it makes uh, three rounds when making the walk, but at the end of all rounds uh, bite uh, his own uh, tail. De ez valóban igaz, mert ennek a And also the audience and the scenes do like three concentric uh, circles and always come back to the same point. And this is only a very hidden symbol. And only the ones who can <laughs> watch from above at the bird. This is a symbol that az informális kölcsönzés, legyen az pénz, élelmiszer, vagy bármi más, évekkel is gyakorlatilag. Amióta létezik társadalom és létezik emberiség, azóta igenis megvan az az igénye, hogy embereknek lehessen egy differenciális biztonsága. És ha nekem ma van valami, amire neked szükséged van, akkor én nem számítanak arra, hogy akkor arra is kell. Okay, so uh, this is a symbol that in former money lending has a uh, thousands year of uh, history and people always had uh, need uh, uh, to, to get this security that if I don't have something but you have something then I can ask. Nem érdemes kriminalizálni. Kultúrát keretek közé lehet fejezni, de kriminalizálni. So what is uh, our opinion that it's not first to make uh, as a crime or to treat as a crime all kinds of informal money lending, but it might be better to, to handle it in some cultural or more fair uh, ways, but to, uh, to prohibit it totally doesn't really function. And I, I think that that's there, there are a couple of things in there. One is that, um, you know, the circular experience that you're offering to then end up in the same place um, is is really, as you say, measured and really careful. Um, and I also, you know, was aware that in the middle of this major city like Budapest, you're doing you know, a village, a show on village and this experience that people are invited to come and experience this 
village life in the kind of you know chaos of a big city um but also you know this point about um not making it illegal there wouldn't be a need for money laundering if other needs were met so it's as you say it's it's very easy to say okay you can't do this um but that doesn't really solve a problem it's it just makes it you know and people will find a way to survive one way or another and so this village day kind of offers insight into how people i think are going around in circles are trying to find solutions but also are human, you know, they invite you to, you know, you experience the cheese or experience the walking. And through that action, through being part of that, I think it gives you insights. It gives you some perspective on this village life, on what it means to be in that, a person in part of that network. And it's not so easy to just kind of remove and say, okay, now this is prohibited because once you share a meal, once you share um, an experience, I think that, that that's something very human. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think that the, the play is incredibly, incredibly intelligent and so careful. So many parts of it are really reflecting um, and holding a mirror up for people. Um, you know, I, I'm not, when I think of banks, they give money to people all the time. But we don't say shame on banks, but we say shame on money laundering. So, you know, that the, the symbolism there is, is very, very um, intelligent and very powerful. And, you know, that came through to me in many ways, these, these um, little touches in there. Um, so it's fantastic, really. Congratulations on the work. Um, and it's very layered, very deep, very, um, I'm not surprised it took a long time to get it kind of to this performance level, um, because you can see that there's a lot of thought process behind it. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share? with people, with our listeners and viewers about, about the work or about um, anything we've discussed today? Uh, I think we talked um, a lot about most of the important issues, maybe just a small thing that uh, that uh, uh, when we made this performance, uh, when we performed it the first time, it was after the lockdown of uh, the first uh, um, first period of lockdown in 2020 in May June, and uh, and it was also like uh, the first opportunity for most of the theater goers in Hungary to go to theater because this time the the building theaters were still closed but it was allowed to do like walking outside so uh it might be also interesting tool for other theaters to go out and to to use uh parks or any kind of outdoors uh then you don't have to make either your scenery so it's also cheaper and, and you can involve people you can't involve otherwise and even during this uh, COVID period or when people can't really uh, enter or don't want to enter in close places, also a good uh, opportunity. So maybe this is a general um, issue. Sure. And thank you very much. <laughs> thank you both. Thank you so much for, for sharing and, and talking about the various layers of the work. Um, and also during a time like, like lockdown, you know, that performance, it's, it's again, I think it, it speaks to the kind of resilience of the community that if there's one situation, we find a, a solution or a way around and that idea of survival. So, um, Again, you know, I don't know what was initially imagined, but this outdoor 
uh, experience just work so well. Um, so congratulations again. And it feels like it's, it just came together quite nicely.